Welcome back. Uh, today something, well, I guess it's retro, but it's not sort of retro computer related. Uh, it's a Sony TCK590 cassette deck. Uh, this was the, the deck that I bought for myself back oh, probably 20 or more years ago. Um, in more recent times, I had no use for it, so I gave it to mum and dad because they had a fairly decent collection of cassette tapes and, and their cassette deck had finally given up the ghost. But uh, yesterday I was over at their place and for one reason or another we wanted to play a tape and guess what? This one doesn't work either. So in a minute I'll show you what it does. Um, my, my gut says it's probably just a belt that's uh, disintegrated but uh, yeah we'll whip it apart and have a look. Alright so we'll turn it on. And immediately you can hear that the uh, the motors are kind of noisy, so there's possibly some dry bearings in there. Pop it open. We will slip a cassette in there. So we're a little bit glary there with the lights, but hopefully you'll be able to see that when I hit the play button, it tries to play, but the uh, tape spindles do not move. Uh, conversely, if I try and fast forward, well, that, was that rewind? I can't remember. But neither fast forward or rewind actually work either. So aside for some, from some noisy bearings, it, it kind of seems like we've probably got a, a broken drive belt. At least that would be my guess. So uh, yeah, we'll pop the lid off and, and we'll have a look. Okay, so first things first, we'll take the screws out of the end of the case, which is going to be hard to see on camera because this thing is so big. So there's those two, and there's two on this end. Two more. Now I think there might be. No, there's none at the back. In theory, this might just lift off, maybe. What is holding this on? We just got to spread it a little bit at the back. the front holding on so well. I have to tip it further up. No. This front cover's got a good hold. There it is, it was just tight. Ah, oh, come off. Okie dokie, so that's the guts of the uh, tape deck and uh, yeah this is the brains of the operation down in here which I believe is a 64 pin uh, microcontroller that is yeah that's everything that uh, that controls the motor drives the displays all, all manner of things so what's next oh yeah <laughs> yeah I'm pretty sure I can see the problem but we'll we will get it out. Um, what's next? So then we get these ones. Oops. I don't know how it would seem. What else is holding that in? Are there screws in the bottom? Yes, there are. Would have been handy to have got these out first. Now I've got to hold this mechanism. So 
So, has that got our mechanism? Yes, it has. All right, and that should just lift out now. Are our cables the same? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, they are different. So I don't have to mark them. They only go back in one way. That is convenient. What else is attached? We've got some. Those are attached and the audio cables are attached. Black grease, yuck. Oh, that's sticky, gooey, horrible grease. Right, so we're going to have to undo the audio cables from this end because they're soldered in at the other end. One and two. There must be one more, yep. Right, so we've got the mechanism free. So we know where it goes. Same with that. So, what have we got? Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Gooey black muck. Um, oh, and there we go. There's our... There's our problem, our belt is very broken. So that won't be working very well. All right, here we go again, down in there. There is another spindle. You can just see the end of the broken belt. So that belt's broken as well. So I'm gonna to have to order a set of belts for this thing. Um, I'll have a look in my tub of belts, but I'll be very surprised if I have anything that fits this. Okay, so looking at the parts diagram, we can see the parts in question. Uh, this here is one of the belts, and that's part number 151 here. So we're going to need one of those. And the other belt is this 165 up here, which is this mode belt. So we're going to have to go online, do a little bit of shopping, and uh, see if we can't find these uh, these parts. Okay, so it's been a week or three and the uh, the drive belts for this uh, Sony tape deck have finally arrived from the, uh, the UK. So let's have a look at uh, replacing them. So first up, we're going to have to get this spring off here. Oh, oh no, we don't. No, the spring is not attached. They can stay. So we've got to get this piece off so we can get to the spindle we we'll get to the flywheel I mean so we can clean it for a start because it's gooed up right so that's the the drive mate you can see the mess that that the gooey remnants of the belt have left there
and then we can see what's left of the belt on the flywheel there. It's, it doesn't look so bad, but trying to get that off is going to be nasty. It's like a black tar, almost. It's horrible. And then we've got another belt to replace. Oh, good God, it's down in, down in here somewhere. That's going to be fun. Anyway, let's, first things first, let's we'll just put our screws aside so we don't lose them. We have to clean this off. I have no idea what I'm going to clean that with yet. I'm thinking some alcohol would be a good start. It may clean it off. Ugh, yuck, look at it. It's just, it's horrible. It just smears it. Yuck. Unfortunately, it cleans off all right. I should get a bit of alcohol on it. So that's, that's all right. It just softens it up and then it just brushes right off. Oh, there's more of it there. God. It is just horrible. There's more of it in here. And we've got to clean this spindle off because it's on there as well. I think that's cleaned that up all right. Now we've got to get it off this flywheel. That's just going to be horrible. Um, I wonder if I can scrape it off. Yeah, well, this is going to work, but we'll give it a go. No, it's working quite well. Yeah, you can see there, it's, it's actually got most of it off. So <laughs> now I just got to get it off the knife. Start with a fresh wipe and uh, give it a clean. You know, this is coming off a whole lot better than I thought it was going to. I thought this was going to be really nasty to get off. Judging by how nasty it is when you get on your fingers. Alright, so to get this off, we take a screw off here, which has got the little... Uh, ground wire under it and we take this one off here they are the same I worry this is going to be like a jack-in-the-box and bits are going to go everywhere and that one so in theory this should nice Am I missing something here? So apparently the flywheel is supposed to come off. Oh, it just lifts out like that. Okay. Now this should just, just disconnect that. This is supposed to just lift off. I worry what's going to go pop when I do. Am I supposed to take this off first. Taking that plate out of there help. What if I could get in there? All oh, right, let's see, we're caught up in here. By the look of it. How are we supposed to get that out of there? Right now, here we go. Yeah, out it comes. Goes like that. Oh, our belt. 
don't know how it's going to hook around those things and stay on there, to be honest. It does. That goes on there. Then this back down. Is it supposed to sit in there? Screw out of there. I really don't want you replacing this belt, do they? Down the back here, we've got a hold on, we're push that on there, that on there, that in there. That's engaged. And now that's lined up. Right. Right, and now, if I'm really careful, I should be able to get in there with a pick and put that up on, up on there like that. Right, that belt is on. Well, that was a bit of a trial. out of there. It's the same length of screw. Yeah, it's the same screw. I could have sworn that came out of... Okay, I think I know what I'm doing now. So this goes... And then this actually goes in there. So that's that bit. Now, we've got to put this back in here. Goes in there. This little clip thing. It's a funny little clip. It's like a little rubber clip. It sort of clips over the edge. magnifying glass thing so I can this will make the camera strobe no doubt but at least I'll be able to see what I'm doing. I think that's in there. Seems to be. Alright so it's got that back in there. So next up we can put this face plate back in which goes in this way, somehow, clips in under there, like that. Right, and then this plugs in here, that just drives the light in the front. Now we're going to put the flywheel back in. And then we've got a. This goes in here like this. We've got to get the belt. The belt in. roughly in there I should be able to get it now if I'm not mistaken this is not the right screwdriver this one goes here and 
this goes back into there like that. Now we've got to cobble this belt on. The belt is already on there. We've just got to get it up onto the get it up onto the flywheel, the capstan thingy magic me. Oops, and it's just come off. Really? Right, now we have a belt. So these can get wrapped up with this again. I think we're ready to go back together. Right, so we're about ready to put the uh, mechanism back together. So we can put this. And work out how it goes back in. Mm -hmm. bundles a little bit. It's going to go down further. How's it go down further? How can it go down further? It's supposed to come up through the front. Maybe. It's supposed to come up, up through there, is it? Surely not. Maybe it is. <laughs> it fits. Right, so that's the top two. In theory. There's two in the bottom. So that's got that. Now this just pushes back on, I believe. Goes on like. Why doesn't that let shut though? I would have thought that would be latching shut by now. Oh, maybe it needs power to get the everything back into the right sequence. Oh, there's more of that goopy mess. Gunk just gets everywhere. Now we've got to find the home for these. The red one will go there. The white one will go there in a minute. The white one goes there. And this one. Polarity must go that way. Yep. So I believe we now have everything back together. We can just pop that and put those in there. See what happens. Well, that wasn't very successful. Did our belt fall off or something? Mm. 
Oh, the belts are on. <sighs> Is our mechanism mistimed? It's clearly something's not right. Other than we've got a noisy motor, but I knew we had a noisy motor. Okay, so a little bit of fiddling required, but uh, it looks like we've got it behaving. So, um, just disconnect the power for the moment while I uh, stick my fingers in there and tidy it, the cabling up a little bit. And uh, then we'll give it a bit of a test. A bit neater. I don't quite why that one's hanging out the side, but we'll tuck him in so he doesn't get cut off at some point. Okie dokie, so let's uh, plug it in. And it powers up. And it auto started automatically point. So it opens just like it should, closes like it should. Rewinds like it should. Fast forwards like it should. Plays. Pauses. Stops. So, so far so good. It's uh, almost back to its former glory. So I think the next thing to do is uh, we'll turn it off again, finish putting it back together. All right, so it's unplugged. Yep, we've got a lid to go on. We've got a couple of screws to put in the bottom as well, but I'll do that after I've got the lid on. screws in the bottom. These just hold the bottom of the tape mechanism in place. back together. So it looks like the Sony tape deck is as good as new. Um, that was a bit of a trial getting that back together but yeah the devil was in the details. Um, getting the timing right between the various parts of the mechanism was uh, somewhat difficult even after reading the, the service manual virtually word by word it was still a bit fiddly. Um, but got there in the end so um, yeah this, uh, this tape deck will get returned to mum and dad and They'll enjoy listening to their old collection of tapes for uh, quite a few years to come, I imagine. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like the video, feel free to subscribe and tap that like button. And uh, maybe we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.